Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. In this SolidWorks tutorial, I will explain you how to model this servo motor in SolidWorks. So let's begin. So I'm gonna open a new part file and then I will change the background to plain white and make sure that I'm working in MMGS as units which is millimeters. Then I will create a uh, sketch on the front plane and I will create a center rectangle at the origin then i will specify the dimension so length of this line is going to be 20 millimeter and length of this line is going to be 40.9 millimeters then i will go to features select extruded boss space and i will specify here the length of extrusion as 19.3 and then i will select this longer face this one where i have origin there as well so i will create a sketch on it I will select the convert entities then I will select extruded boss base and here I will specify the length of extrusion as 6.8 millimeter and check the box so as you can see we didn't see any line here so right click here on the second extruded boss base and select the very first option and then uncheck merge and now we can see this is now unmerged and we can clearly see the line similarly on the other side we will do the same thing so I will select this face and convert entities go to feature select extruded boss base and here this time this length of extrusion is 8.5 and again we cannot see the line so select the third extruded boss space and go to edit features and unmerge it and you can see the line now on the recent extruded boss space I will select this face and I will select the chamfer so this right here is face chamfer which you can also apply from here as well so I'm I'm gonna specify the parameter which is 2 millimeter and 35 degree and then I will check the box so chamfer has been applied okay now I will select this face and click on sketch and then I will create here a corner rectangle so I will select the corner rectangle and create here one like this and then I will specify the dimension so 4.88 millimeter on both side the dimension and then I will select here a corner fillet and create a corner fillet since the radius is larger so it's not allowing me so I'm gonna specify here the radius which is 2 and then I will select this corner now on these uh, sketch on these corners as well so what I will do I will create here a reference center lines to mirror so one vertical and one horizontal so from this center point to this here center point I will create center lines so then I will select this sketch and mirror about this vertical line and it has been mirrored like this okay then I will again uh, mirror on the other side so select the mirror entities I will select this entire upper side in mirror about window I will select this horizontal line and the sketch gonna get mirror on the other side as well okay now go to features select extruded cut and I will specify the length of cut as 1.5 millimeter and then I will check the box okay and then I will select this the other side and click on sketch I will select here center rectangle the distance between these two lines is going to be 0.25 and the distance between these two lines is going to be 0.5 and then go to features select extruded boss space and here I will specify 0.4 millimeter as length of extrusion check the box okay now I will select this face and click on sketch and here I will create a sketch so I will uh, I will create here a horizontal line which is a reference center line and then I will create here a circle like this okay then I will select the circle hold control key select the outer edge make relation tangent do the same here select the out select this circle outer edge 
make relation tangent okay now i will again create here a reference center line which is going to be vertical make sure that this is vertical so select this line and make relation vertical and then from this line to this outer line here I will specify the distance 14.36 and then I will select uh, trim entities and I will trim this arc check the box now I will select the line and create here a horizontal line and a vertical line okay now I will select a circle and I will create here a circle like this and I will connect the sketch here like this okay and i will select trim entities and i will trim this arc and i'll trim this arc okay now i will specify the dimensions so sorry so the distance between these two lines is six from this point to this point the distance is three okay just define now I will select here mirror entities and then I will select one two three entities and in mirror about window I will select the horizontal line reference line and it's gonna get mirrored like this now again from this point to this point the distance is three so that the sketch is fully defined okay now go to feature select actuated boss space and the length of extrusion is going to be 2 and check the box okay now I will select this face click on sketch and then I will create here a circle so hover over the arc you will find the midpoint create a circle there 13 millimeter is going to be the dia and 1.5 is going to be the length of extrusion again on this face click on sketch and create here a circle of 11 millimeter diameter and length of extrusion is going to be 0 0.5 check the box again create here a sketch on the face and this time again a circle this time 6.5 and the length of extrusion I'm gonna specify 5 millimeter and then check the box okay so this has been created all right now I will select uh, this face and click on sketch and then I will create here a corner rectangle so this is a corner rectangle so I will specify the length of this line which is 12.5 millimeter and then I will select here offset entities and this is going to be one and in reverse direction so check the box okay now I will create on this midpoint a circle on the line and I will specify the diameter which is going to be 3.5 and I will select the trim entities then okay then I will select your trim entities and I'm very carefully I will trim this outer and I just want to keep the outer arc and then I will go to feature select extrusion boss base and here I will specify the length of extrusion which is going to be 0.5 and then check the box so this feature has been created now I will specify some fillet so select the fillet tool and the radius of the fillet 0 0.5 or 0 0.7 it's up to you I will specify this corner fillet so since we have unmerged entity so it is not allowing us to completely um, add fillets so I will add these fillets okay now I will select this face and click on sketch then I will 
create here a sketch like this a line here then a reference center line from this midpoint to here this should be straight horizontal if you can find the midpoint uh, or you can say the origin then I will show you how you can find it later okay this line and then I will specify the distance between these two lines which is going to be 6.55 millimeters and the distance between these two lines is one millimeter okay then create here a circle and I will specify the diameter of the circle which is 4 from center point of the circle to this reference line the distance is going to be 5 millimeter and if you really cannot find the midpoint then let me show you you can find that this midpoint you have to make a reference center line from corner to corner okay so you will be able to find the midpoint of that line there so the distance between these two points is going to be 24.3 millimeters and then I will create here a center line again from this point to there this point and I will specify the distance so the distance between these two lines is going to be 1.1 millimeters and then I will select the trim entities and I will trim this arc okay now in order to complete the sketch I will create here two straight lines one and two make sure that these are straight so you can assign horizontal relations okay then you can trim this line then I will specify your sketch fillet so the radius should be specified first so let's specify one it's too big still so 0.5 yep it's working so corner fillers just apply those and check the box and here as well so radius is a little bit bigger so 1.5 will work check the box okay now I will select the mirror entities and in this window I will select this entire sketch and in mirror about window which is this one I will select the horizontal reference line and it's gonna get better like this Okay. in order to complete the sketch I need to make a line here from this point to this point and you can see the sketch is turned into gray which is which means that it, this is ready for extrusion so go to feature select extruded boss base and here 2.5 millimeter is the length, length of extrusion in downward direction and I also have to specify some offset so I am uh, specify here 5.74 as offset and in opposite direction so these are the direction this one okay check the box so this is created and I want this same thing on the other side so I will I will require a plane which cut this part in half like this and then I will select mirror in features to mirror I will select this uh, feature and then check the box so this is mirrored on the other side great and then uh, I can specify any material any appearance I like it's up to you this is optional so that's it for the servo motor and then I will save it and this part can be used to assemble the robotic arm as well so I will save this part as servo motor and then I will hit enter button so that's all for this tutorial guys see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching